Just a quick video here to show you my finds for today. If you hear some noise outside, you know it's 4th of July, so people are shooting off firecrackers. Okay, um, this latum jar, nice clean Vaseline jar, because I cleaned it. This jar says bear on the bottom. This one says Horlicks, and I looked that up, and it's malted milk powder that they used in the early 1900s. Got another Heinz honey and almond jar. This one has the lid on it. Um, this jar here, no, um, no embossing, no marks on it. Uh, it's kind of a pinkish purple color. Uh, the marks only come up to here, so I know it's early, like uh, 1800s jar uh, bottle there. So that's a nice one, even though it has no marks. Just another nice little um, apothecary. I like those. Um, this one here, when I dug it out, I thought it was paint, but it's not paint. It actually has some printing here on it. And it might not show on here. But it actually says the Paracamp Company, Louisville, Kentucky, USA. I looked that up and it actually still has contents in it. That is a camphor uh, and menthol combination. It's actually a quack medicine. It was uh, made in 1903 and pretty much by 1915 because they called it a cure-all. It was actually... Um, this company was fined by the Drug Administration because it, they uh, said it was a cure-all and it obviously wasn't. Um, here's a real nice Dr. W.B. Caldwell Serp Pepsin bottle. Pepsin Serp Company. This is a nice uh, greenish or aqua and it has the name of the town where it was made. This is a beautiful, beautiful bottle. No chips, no scratches. This was awesome find. It was just laying on top of the ground. Very happy with that one. This here is just a small, very thin, very thin bottle. Um, it's a Owens Bottling Company, so I know that's an earlier, like early 1900s. Um, cork top, very nice. Oh, sorry, the police scanner's going off, and we, we were walking out. Uh, walking down the creek again, and my husband walked right over the top of this bottle, and it was halfway buried, but he stepped right over the top of it, and I stopped, and I thought, what's the matter with you? And I dug it out. It's a Pat D. Coke. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's, I mean, it's uh, been in the creek for a while, so it's got a lot of this... Uh, mineral deposit or whatever on it. The bottom has a Springfield, Illinois, and it actually has a number 49. So this uh, this bottle is from 1949, so I'm happy with that. It's a little older, or newer, actually, I should say, than the bottles I've been digging, but I'm extremely happy with a Coke bottle that's whole. This is some kind of lid. The lid is something. I don't have any idea. Uh, my husband found this old spark plug and it says on it Champion X and when I looked it up Model T spark plug. So if I keep looking I'm gonna find that whole Model T out there. <laughs> so that's it for today.